Welcome to the channel everyone. My name is Ian Yarwood and I am a lawyer here in Perth, Western Australia. They say that life begins at 40, but tragically Yoshi Sazawa, also known as Charlene, passed away two months prior to that very important milestone. She was a scuba diving instructor and expert translator who had uh, been on Koh Tao for at least 10 years. Now, as many of you would already know, for the past four weeks, I have been publishing a great deal of information about her very suspicious death on Facebook and on this YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to read through a tribute to her, which actually appeared in the Japanese language in a memorial book. And uh, this would have been produced uh, very shortly after her death and uh, it's very difficult to find. One of my readers sent it to me. Thank you very much indeed. You know who you are. And I've gone to the trouble of having it translated and I'm going to just read through it for you now. It's fairly brief. And it starts with 19th of August, 1964. On the year of the Tokyo Olympics, Charlene was born in Tokyo as the first daughter of Sazawa, Aichi and Kyoko. She lived with her family between the age of three and eight in Malaysia, Sarawak State, and went to St. Mary Middle School in Kuching City. After she went back to Japan, she enrolled in Komaba Elementary School in Meguro, March 1976. Graduated from Komaba Elementary School, March 1979. Graduated from Komaba Junior High School, August 1979, went to the United States, Kansas, a state in the Midwest of the US, alone by herself. Charlene enrolled in Salina South High School for three years and never went back to Japan during that time. July 1982, graduated from Salina South High School. Friends of hers started calling her Charlene from this time. January 1989, the year of the Showa era when media around the world came together. Charlene had been hired as a translator by the broadcaster CBS TV named Nancy and attended the interviews together. In the same year NTT, a joint company of Japan and uh, the United States in Cincinnati, hired Charlene as an English translator and she worked there for four years. 1994 Charlene departed from the United States to Koh Tao. She started scuba diving for the first time and earned the license as an instructor. Since then, she has been working at Big Blue Diving Center as a pro instructor. She taught many young Japanese and foreign divers. 2003, divers in Koh Tao, in Koh Tao had increased significantly and that affected the sea, the coral, the sea turtles, so Charlene and her dog Pringle rode a bike together around the island to do volunteer jobs in order to help save the environment and the animals. 25th of June 2004. She passed away on Koh Tao, the beautiful island that is full of emotions. Her funeral was held in Bangkok on June the 30th, in the temple of Koh Tao on July the 2nd. Uh, right after that, her family embraced her body back to Japan. On July the 31st, Charlene's family held a Christian funeral for her in Ikebukuro, Tokyo. Charlene rests peacefully near the Tokyo Dome baseball pitch. Lots of love, the eternity of your dreams. And that was the end of that particular tribute. And I've got a few important notes. Uh, firstly, it is believed that the 25th of June 2004 is actually the date that Charlene's body was found in the jungle. According to her friend Kawika, Charlene vanished on the 18th of June 2004 and was found on the 25th of June 2004. In addition, multiple sources advise that Charlene was found outside in the jungle after disappearing for many days and that when she was found she had actually been dead for quite some time. Many also state that searches had been conducted for her. However, in November 2021, a Royal Thai Police uh, Major General 
issued a series of press releases stating, apparently falsely, that Charlene was found in her house and committed, quote, suicide by stress, unquote. And that was a term that uh, Google Translate uh, threw up. When Charlene moved to the USA to study, she did so at the invitation of her friend, uh, Kristen Hansen. And it's important to note that she met Kristen when Kristen uh, had been in Japan briefly. And uh, also she went there at the invitation of Kristen's parents, of course, whose names were Sharon and David. She was therefore living with an American family during those school years um, in uh, Kansas. It seems that uh, Charlene was already quite fluent in English prior to attending school in Salina, Kansas. And uh, subsequently, of course, she did become an expert translator. She uh, even uh, did translation for uh, an American academic who was a professor of uh, English. So her uh, ability with translation was, was absolutely first rate. She was obviously an intelligent young woman and uh, had a lot of life in front of her, but tragically her life was cut short on Ko Tao. Now, uh, in the description below, I will put a link to a, uh, to a song. It's a very famous Japanese song uh, in English. The translation is Great Tears Are Spilling. In Japanese, it's Anada Susu. And uh, the cover is performed by a Japanese singer by the name of Rimi Natsukawa. And the reason I'm doing that is because in the uh, tribute or in the um, in the book, uh, there were a number of pictures of uh, Yoshi of Charlene, which actually appear uh, on the thumbnail to this video. But also there was some Japanese text, and it turns out that the the lyrics, which um, are very profound, actually come from uh, that particular song. So, in the for the for the point of being uh, comprehensive, I've also put a link to a few of the lyrics translated into English, and also to the to the song itself. And if you've uh, thought this video was at all uh, helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, also uh, keep in mind that uh, when Charlene passed away, um, there was very little information that was, well, in fact, there was no information published in the mainstream media. And one of the reasons that this channel exists is that I try to bring to the attention of the world a lot of the suspicious deaths and a lot of the murders that occur on Kotao that are either not covered at all in the mainstream media or are not covered particularly well. So I do appreciate everyone who gives this a thumbs up because it means that the YouTube algorithm uh, ensures that it is uh, promoted to a wider audience. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching till the very end and please stay safe and bye for now. Bye.